that space, the plural space, is often referred to as a hypothetical space, meaning that you should only have that very, very small amount of serous fluid in there. There should be nothing else in there. There shouldn't be air, there shouldn't be blood, there shouldn't be anything else inside that space when a patient is healthy and has no pathologic conditions going on. And importantly with that too, when we think about that space between them, it's actually a negative pressure space. There's essentially a little bit of a vacuum there. Reason for that, right, is when you have your chest wall and your lung, right? So you have your parietal pleura on the chest wall, visceral pleura on the lung. Your chest wall expands, right? You take a deep breath, your intercostal muscles expand your chest wall. Chest wall goes up. Because you have that negative pressure, it's going to pull the, the parietal pleura, is going to pull the visceral pleura with it and allow that lung to be pulled open to expand. You can see that when there's an issue or some sort of hole or communication from an open source into that parietal or into the uh, plural space, we lose that negative pressure. We start to build up positive pressure inside that space causes big issues, right? Cause now we're not being able to get that lung to inflate properly as well as we can start having pressure, significant amount of pressure causing further issues.